Welcome back. Josh Spreider is in the 608 this morning where big things are happening in Mount Horeb. Four new businesses there are officially open for business. Hey, okay, great news, right? So Josh Spreider is checking them all out this morning and he is live at a sweet shop this morning checking out what they have to offer. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's never too early for a little sweet treat to get us going in the morning, right? So we're live here at Sugar Troll in downtown Mount Horeb this morning. Robin Farrow, you are the one that started this all, and you have a lot of history in the community just down the road, right? Yeah, so we own the Grumpy Troll Brewery down the street, and um, when the local ice cream store moved out of the downtown, we really felt a void in the community. And so we didn't have a place for kids in the downtown area that was specifically targeted at families that come and visit. It, and we see a lot of those at Grumpy Troll. So we thought Sugar Troll's a natural extension of Grumpy Troll. Yeah, so Sugar Troll, you have all the goodies in here too. And you guys had a soft opening on St. Patrick's Day, the grand opening, of course, this last weekend. You know, how are things going so far? It's been phenomenal. The response from the community and the local area has just been outstanding. I think it's unusual to see a new candy store open up, especially after a year of the coronavirus. Um, there hasn't been a lot of new exciting things that have been happening places and so the response has been excellent. So you know you're one of four new businesses to open up here in downtown Mount Horeb. You know why now and why here in the village? Why did you think that this was the time to do it? Mount Horeb has such a great tradition of supporting their own businesses but then we get a huge amount of tourist traffic which obviously was very much down last year but at Grumpy Trail we're seeing this optimism in people and feeling like we're finally over that hump with COVID and so we thought people are going to be itching to get out and to buy things and to have new places to go with their families and so we thought the timing actually is perfect for a new business instead of being afraid of boy will it get worse because I don't think it will anymore. Yeah so you guys are open every day what can people all expect when they come to Sugar Troll? So you're going to get all your nostalgic favorites penny candy both wrapped and unwrapped bulk like salt water taffy and gummy bears and things of that nature but then we also brought in a curated selection of what we call sustainable products so they're rainforest certified chocolate chocolate, bar to bean, meaning they don't cut down rainforests or use child labor in their production, small providers, women-owned businesses. So we're really excited about both offerings, things you knew from childhood and loved and new things you can discover and didn't know that existed. All right, and where can people find you here in the village? So we're at 122 East Main Street. Come for gelato and coffee and stay for some candy and get all sugared up. Oh, sounds <laughs> wonderful to me, even at 545 in the morning, right? You're right, anytime. <laughs> Well, Robin, thank you so much. And you guys, of course, we cannot come here and not dig into something. We got a little cookie dough gelato this morning. And of course, here we go. Here's my breakfast. Wonderful as always. <laughs> I was going to ask, how are you restraining yourself in that room, Josh? Clearly you're not. <laughs> Oh yeah, clearly I'm not. We walked in and I'm thinking like, oh boy, like this is going to be dangerous, especially for this time of the morning. A lot of sugar, but hey, we got to get it in, right? We got to have that breakfast and we got to support local. So here we go, guys. Josh Happy Breyer. Monday. Going to be bouncing off the walls, shaking in his <laughs> later live shots. We love it, Josh. Thank you very much. I love that how <laughs> another local business stepped up whenever the other one closed down uh, to make sure that they still had an ice cream shop. Every town needs an ice cream shop. Agreed. Town, right?